Hello YouTube, hi my name is Mark and this is Nixon Motorsports. Hey, if you're new to this channel, we're all about motorsports from racing to exotic cars and even simulators. So today's video, this is a update video on the rolling resistance. If you saw that thread, so let me back up. So there's a main topic that I've been focused on and that's preparing the race car for high speed racetracks, right? And there's four topics. The first is engine, the second is, is aerodynamics, the third is rolling resistance, and the fourth is overall just chassis itself. All of these focused on extracting the most out of the car for high-speed racetracks, right? So today's video is an update on the rolling resistance. If you saw the previous video where we did the installation on ceramic bearings, we did the new braking, um, rotors and calipers and such. We're going to go out, we're going to see what it does. And um, with that, let me bring you along. Let's see what this thing uh, can do out on track, all right? I think we still have about 10 minutes. Wrapping up for day one, doing a little bit of prep work for tomorrow. You can see Jeff's down here doing something very important. He looks so serious. I'm not sure if it's he's focused or if it's he's tired, he's ready for food. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of both. Just a bit of both. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit of both. <laughs> bit of both, yeah. We uh, had a few little gremlins today you know stuff happens um, but we made progress so it was a pretty good day uh, the balance of the car surprisingly was really really good um, we had uh, we had some braking things that we had to deal with um, again a couple little things that set us back today on some of the testing but not a big deal in general uh, I can tell you absolutely our top speed is uh, definitely up there it improved a lot um, I'll have to stare at some data we haven't downloaded yet. I think I did get 
probably very close, if not 150 some miles an hour down the back straight. So the car is responding, uh, the, the free rolling, you know, the resistance, the rolling resistance focus, um, I think definitely helped actually. So we're back here at the shop, got the car back up on the stands, wanted to just do a quick kind of a talk about the uh, rolling resistance uh, from uh, the last weekend at Coda. I got to say I'm impressed. Uh, the ceramic bearings, if you saw the video installing them, um, I think that combination of that and the brake uh, rotors, um, I think really made a difference. The, um, the ceramic bearings, I would say, are definitely a nice to have if you can do it. Uh, your rules allow you to, um, and you have the desire for those fractions, right, of, uh, of a possible performance gain, then I would say do it. Now, I picked up um, about five miles an hour um, in top speeds. Now, I was doing some aero changes, and I was playing with a, th a few things on the car. I got to say, though, I, I, I suspect it's somewhere between three, four miles an hour um, in top speeds that I gained um, by doing the ceramic bearings. So, um, way cool. I would strongly suggest you look into that. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have a lot of content and videos in the works right now, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't, uh, just so you can stay tuned and, and see what's coming out next. Um, the two big topics and themes, right? So the one the one is how to get started in racing. There's a handful of videos that you'll see coming out on that. And the other one is how to prepare your race car for high-speed racetracks. Um, so both of those are being um, worked on, again, with quite a bit of content. Um, but that's it for now. I appreciate you watching and the comments as they come through. I do appreciate that, everybody. So uh, keep that stuff coming, okay? Until next time, ciao.